And joining us now from Detroit is Drew Sharp, a sports columnist for the Detroit Free Press. Live and direct, man. It's your boy, 313 Hit, man. And I told y'all I was going to come back with some heat, man. Now, let me get, let me break this down to this fool named Drew Sharp, man. This wannabe ESPN coon. Ever since he started off, man, he wanted to remind us Lions fans and Pistons fans of our history. You know, talking about we ain't this, we ain't that. Yeah, man, may be true on the Lions side, man, but... I had a real problem with what he said about the Pistons, cuz. I'm not even gonna even bring up the uh, Andre Drummond thing yet. This fool said at the beginning of the season, we weren't even a playoff team, cuz. He said that right in his article, right on the radio, on the punk ass radio station um, 105.1, cuz. He said that right on, right on, on the radio. I mean, y'all can hear it for yourself, man. Go to that punk ass website, 105.1.com, or whatever that shit is, man. He said right from the jump, man, when I was working at the other, other spot, man, he said we weren't even gonna make the playoffs. Then Andre Drummond gets his first ever All Star, All Star appearance. I mean, just breaking records in his fourth year as he goes. I mean, he's Mr. Double-Double, man. Yeah, he's shitty when it comes to this free throw shooting, man. But that's a whole nother thing, man. But then this clown said, Get him off our team. He's trash. That is by far the worst thing I've ever heard come out of this clown's mouth. And y'all do know he is, he's shilling for ESPN, man. That's why he's doing all this extra cooning he's doing on the radio and all these TV interviews, cuz, and his punk ass articles. This is what he's doing. And then didn't even uh, have the balls to defend KCP getting snubbed on the all, on the all NBA defense team. I mean, this dude was defending twos, threes, and sometimes small stretch fours, man. And even point guards. I mean, the fact that KCP got snubbed, man, I can't even believe it. By far, uh, the best defender on our team, and yet not one word from out of this clown defending my boy KCP, man. Not one doggone word. And, and then to bring up the, the fact that Drum is trash, he just made the playoffs in his first in his first four years, man. In his fourth year, he finally made it. Now you say we trash because he went up against a a bloated team like the Cavs that shoot threes all day and pass it around. We was overwhelmed. We weren't gonna win that series, no way. But Drew Sharp, man, you've been doing this for what twenty plus years now, man. You've been you've been cooning way off on the deep end, man. It, it's sad. It's sad. Her today, Joe Kim Noah is going to leave because he doesn't trust the front office. Well, congratulations, congratulations, John Paxson and Gar Foreman. Congratulations, you, y'all make me sick. Congratulations, you, especially Fred Hoiberg. Fred Hoiberg doesn't get a pass because you decided to put him on a bench, make him a bench player when Paul Gasol couldn't play defense for crap. Y'all three clowns, y'all the real three freaking stooges. Joe Kino from Chicago Bulls, number 13. He's been there since 2007. He said he's not resigning. That's it, he's done, finished. He, just don't, he don't believe in front office. What the fuck is going on in the Chicago Bulls locker room? He, Fred Hoiberg, he's got to stop being soft. I'm sorry. But in the front office, I, I do agree with Noah about the, about the front office. Fire them because... 
What the fuck are you doing? You haven't did nothing. I don't know what the fuck. The Bulls is just fucking up because everybody's free agents. Now I'm going to address you Bulls fans. Yeah, you shot toilet Bulls fans. Yeah, I'm getting to you suckers right now. Because I'm tired of y'all running y'all mouth, man. We was down for seven years. What has the Chicago... What has the shot toilet Bulls have ever done since we were down since 2009 until this year? Matter of fact, what have you clowns ever done... Since Jordan left. Oh, that's a real question. You want to flaunt your little one little trip to the Eastern Conference Finals just to get blown up and blown out by the Miami Heat super team? That one trip to the Eastern Conference Finals. We had six on our run. And yet there is no team in the Eastern Conference has yet to yet to beat us on that. Six straight Eastern Conference trips. The Pacers can't say that. The Heat can't say that. Nobody in the East can say that but us, man. So y'all better watch your mouth. How y'all gonna talk about y'all gonna win a championship when y'all don't even have a y'all don't even have a healthy point guard? And don't give me this garbage about China Doll Rose being your answer. Come on, man. Stop it. That ain't your answer, cuz. He never was your answer. The best that he gave you when healthy was one trip to the Eastern Conference Finals. And y'all done maxed him out like a bunch of idiots, cuz. And then what y'all idiots even talking about right now is that y'all gonna let Joker Noah go? That dude was the heart and soul of your team. Other than Jimmy Butler. And then y'all even talking about trading him. He was by far your best player. And I can't even believe that you dumb Bulls fans even talking about keeping D. Rose and Butler? When D. Rose is finished goods, he's damaged, cuz. He's damaged. And that's what he is, damaged. Y'all haven't done squats since Jordan. That one little trip to the Eastern Conference Finals ever since we were down. We had six. Winning ring since Jordan, and maybe I'll give y'all a little more respect. And oh yeah, let me let me spill in a few more uh, beans on you. This team been propped up by David Stern, man, because we've been kicking their ass back in the late '80s. If it wasn't for David Stern propping up Jordan by changing the rules and babying him, they, they would have never got those six rings. Yeah, I said it right here on camera. At four, six, eight from St. Vincent, St. Mary High School, LeBron James. Last but not least, you bandwagon. LeBron loving hopping chocolate fans. Yeah, I'm gonna get to you sons of bitches right now. You sons of bitches really have no room to talk. Yeah, you swept us twice. Mostly because we was at the end of our run the first time and we were a young team now. And y'all golf clapping about that because y'all had an easy breeze through the east? The fact that y'all getting blown out by a tired Golden State team? That's even more pathetic. Y'all are embarrassing the East. We held the East up to a higher standard. I mean, ESPN put the Cavs on TV every time LeBron suited up. It's like ESPN should have a 82-game schedule when it comes to you clowns, man. And yet, what did that punk LeBron bring to y'all, man? Nothing. Zero titles ever since we were down for seven years. So shut that garbage down, cuz. Acting like y'all some upper echelon team. And then you had this clown shot toilet Bulls fan 
put y'all ahead of us. We on the rise, baby. Both of y'all, both of y'all teams are on the fall. Both of y'all teams are about to be on the down, on the downside in the next two to three years. We about to take the East back, man. I'm sick of you fools, uh, pipping uh, Prince James in uh, my face, cuz. I done had enough of you fools. Ain't had much of a history anyway. Oh yeah, your best part about your history? Getting smoked by Jordan. You mean to tell me you got World Be Free, Brad Dart, Brad Darty, and uh, and a Jordan memory, which blasted y'all by the last, by the last shot in the fourth quarter? I mean, that's the that's your best memory before LeBron James even came there, cuz. Oh, y'all made the trip again. Y'all made the playoffs in, against the Knicks in '96 and got swept. So get out of here, you choke a little bitches. I can't stand y'all, man. And y'all gonna get smoked by Golden State yet again. Yeah, I'm saying it right here on camera, man. Go Golden State. Beat the Bulls record and beat the Cavs out of submission. This is your boy, 313 Hitman. Don't you ever mess with the Detroit vs. Everybody fam again. I'm gone.